Good evening, everybody. Let's um. Share the live, everybody. Share the live. Penny, what's, what's up? What's up, Sal? What's up, Manny Centron, Frank, De Jesus, Tuskegee in the house, Nate Lloyd. What's up, guys? Julissa, MTV, what up? It's been a a hell of a a hellified. This has been a crazy week so far, but um, the only thing I got, I, I want to start off by saying. That um, I want to start off by saying we don't we don't this whole scenario with this COVID nineteen we don't need to politicize it. All right, I'm I'm watching lives out there and I'm seeing oh if we if if we would have did this with the contract or we would have did this with the contract that's that's politicizing it. Get out of here with that. You know one thing. You know I'll just say you better be glad we 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 um. We settled the contract because if this thing would have hit after we, um, if this thing would have hit before we settled the contract, there wouldn't have been no contract to, to settle. Believe that. All right. This, this company's already asked for a stimulus because um, the um, MTA is claiming broke. All right. And, and, and by the way, they're not lying. It's, it is what it is. But um, I want to go over what I really want to go over with you guys tonight. There's a couple of things, all right? Now, um, we, there was a telephone conference, and I just want to go over some of those things, some of the updates on the telephone conference, and um, some of the issues that we complained about on Monday, in Monday's conference call, is has been addressed. Now, one of the main things with this whole COVID-19 is that everybody wasn't on the same page about nothing. Supervisors didn't know what was going on. Um, when our operators would go to the supervisors, they didn't know what was going on. The supervisors' union made complaints, and now what, what's happened is they they've they've been given. This is this is this has showed up in every every um, supervisor's email, and basically it's an instructional sheet, and it has information on it in order to deal with our operators' questions. All right. Now there's certain things that you you can go to your union about, and there's certain things the union um, it just can't get into because of HIPAA violations, HIPAA law. But um, I'm gonna get into a a little bit with you guys about um, what's going on, the latest. All right, so let's talk about um, let's 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 talk about today's conference call. All right. Now, it was a conference call between the MTA and the unions. The unions involved is the ATU, um, TWU Local 100, TWU Local 106, which is the, which is the supervisors' union dispatches and, and foremans and some, people, some, some folks in the subway. Um, you got Triple SA, you got um, ATU Local 1179, Local 1181, and um, ATU 726, ATU... Um, 1056 out in Queens. So everybody is is involved, and what these what these meetings are about is addressing your complaints. Anything that you come and you say something to the to your rep about, the rep gives it to one of us. We give it to the vice president, and we're trying to handle business in that fashion. So, um, the conference call. Between the MTA and the unions today, um, it was announced that there are three cases in the Department of Buses of COVID-19. But what we're waiting for is very verification from the Department of Health. Anyone who is anyone calling in sick for COVID-19, they want the doctor's information to follow up with the MTA medical, which is OHS. All right. Supervisors are to guide and instruct employees on what to do. 
OHS will follow up with employees with flu-like symptoms. Now, the reason why we're using OHS or, the, or it's been decided to use OHS is because the state has been slow in dealing with the, the questioning and dealing with the phone calls that's been going their way. So OHS which is the Occupational Health Services. That's our, our own health services. And they're going to be dealing with a lot of our issues. So OHS will follow up with employees with flu-like symptoms. Right? Um, very important. International travel. Members should be on a self-quarantine. There's a new procedure for international self international travel self quarantine and 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 the notification that that has to be done to human resources you will be filling out forms employees out 14 days for administrative leave will be paid at run pay all right um now keep it let me just make a note on that issue um only administrative leave once OHS receives your info Otherwise, it will be carried as regular sick. All right. Administrative leave kicks in once OHS deems a person to be quarantined. And then it will be retro back to the sick call out date. All right. Um, High risk employees um, with doctor's lines that say that they have to stay home has to be deemed deemed so through OHS. In other words, if your doctor says you have to stay home, OHS has to has to um have the last say on that issue. All right? Um as far as um motor vehicle and licensing um Benny Serrano from Zariga has has spoken to different motor vehicle agencies to try to get extensions for any anybody who's expiring or needing some type of medical. All right, so um, DMV will be extend will extend the, the the licensing period or extend the expiration period for ninety days in the state of Connecticut. In New Jersey, New Jersey cases will be extended two months or 60 days. Pennsylvania will extend 30 days. Delaware is not offering no extension at this time. And um, we're still waiting on New York State to respond. So there's nothing for New York State as of yet. Um, Express buses. Now... This is um, express buses. This is something that the president of the ATU has asked for in the express buses. And they asked for the first two seats to be left empty. Um, and signages will be on the bus to reflect that. And this is due, be, due to keep um, a little bit of distance away from the, from the customers to protect the operator. And it's because the express buses um, do not have partitions. All right, like like the regular 40-foot buses and the 60-foot buses. They don't have partitions. Any depot that has a school closed schedule in place will be paid the greater of the two. School open or school close, whichever is greater. Now, letters have been issued to cover operators who operate during curfew hours. If... You see, you see these around the depot during, you need to take this and put this in your pocket because if you operate during, during a, a, a particular curfew, this letter will allow you access to get to work, okay? Make sure that you get this letter. It's, in, it's circulating in the depots, okay? It's, um, it's a letter um, basically from, from Joseph P. McGran, which is the acting chief. MTA Police Department. So it's very important that you get that. Um, we are er, there. There was a there was a, a an axe to have customers only coming in through the back door. The axe, and we also wanted to to um, 
not worry about the fares. We we don't worry about the fares as it is, but we were asked not to worry about the fares. And they, the transit authority still wants us to collect fares. So, you know, we, we know what, how that works. Anyway, um, the mask and glove issue. Everybody's complaining about the mask. Your union reps are requesting masks and gloves. They're, 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 they're making up the discussion. They're trying to fight your issues. We are, you're, not, you're, you're not going on her. Right now, the mask and glove discussion is still a continuous discussion. The Transit Authority has not said yes to that. We still pushing the issue forward on that, but it's still, it's still a stalemate on that discussion. Until further notice, you still got to wear your own stuff, all right? Um, what you can't wear, as far as a mask is concerned, you can't wear uh, a respirator type of mask. All right? You can't wear those masks. I, I had an issue with Michael J. Quill the other day where I stood firm over an issue, but the bottom line is you, you cannot wear a respirator mask. There's so many different rules and regulations concerning respirator mask on its own not even concerning the mta so you you have to be very careful about respirator masks can't wear them all right um labor relations anita miller she's um the high ranking uh, um, um labor relations officer and she said that child care if info is coming out on um, monday uh the union will not be made aware and i want this to be I want you to very be pay very close attention to what I'm getting ready to say. The unions will not be made aware of any self quarantine members because of HIPAA laws. All right. So if you if you go to a supervisor and 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 then they they direct you into certain areas or if it's done by phone to quarantine, the union will not know about. We won't know about it unless you tell us about it. Otherwise, we're not gonna know, all right. And that and and it, it prevents spreading people's business. We don't, you know, we really don't want people's business spread out there because we don't want to, we don't want to cause a panic. There's a panic that's already out there. There's a lot of rumors that's going on out there. I didn't heard. I'm trust me. I didn't heard them all already. I didn't heard a rumor about Manhattanville. Not true. Heard a rumor about Quill. Not true. Um, there is some rumors that's going on in 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 the outer borough um, depots. Those are still. Um, and being investigated, quarantined, so we'll we'll know, um, we'll know, at a, later, at a later date. But it's very important that we practice what they call social uh, distancing. Social distancing—that's the word. It's a it's a word that I'm not really familiar with. You know, I like to like to hug, and you know, you know me. Anybody who come across me know me. You know how I am, man. I like to, I, I love all my people. We're just in, this, in a, a state where we have to just be careful about um, touching. You know, elbow stuff, that's good. Um, no handshakes, no hugs, no none of that. Just leave, leave it at that. Um, use, ha use hand sanitizers. If you, if, now, I'm going on a limb here. This is nothing that I'm reading. If you can't get your hands on, on no hand sanitizers, get your spray bottle, get you some of that. Um, alcohol from the pharmacy that that's um a hundred percent and and spray that and and clean yourself up with that that's a that's a i i find that that might be a good alternative um anything any comments on here i i will comment later i just want to get through the agenda um matter of fact i want to get to i want to i want to talk about the part with the kids all right let me let me get to the um to the to the kids part because there's people that's worried the schools are closed um people are worried about what to do in a in the case of a quarantine now now in all fairness there's a lot of information out here there's a lot of information on social media social media i don't know t you know we, we don't sometimes we don't know what's true what's not true um danny cruz um has an mtv page and and he's he's put information out there. Um, if you're a part of his page, do definitely read it. But um, the one of the things I want to talk about is the leave for employees because that's 
kind of was everybody worried about getting paid at the end of the day. <clears throat> um, anyway, employees who have been diagnosed as infected by COVID-19 who are already on an administrative leave for travel, quarantine, or other risk factors when they are diagnosed with COVID-19 will be able to use up to 14 days of administrative leave total without using leave balances of your own. There, thereafter, employees will use sick time for absences due to COVID-19 illnesses. Employees who are diagnosed with COVID-19 in the absence of prior quarantine are entitled to administrative pay without using leave balances during the period of their illness for a period of time not to exceed 14 days, okay? Um, and will thereafter be required to use your own sick time, all right? If an employee has exhausted their leave balances, the MTA agencies can either advance or grant additional sick leave on a case by case basis. Employees who are not, pardon me, employees who are diagnosed with COVID 19 cannot return to work unless they have been cleared by their personal physician and by the occupational health service. That think that's very important. Now, I'm not, things are messed up around here, guys, all right? We know that things could be better and it should be better right but th these are th these are, we're all in in unfamiliar um we're all in the unfamiliar category right now we don't know what's going to happen from day to day the information that comes out is coming out every day right it's something different coming out every day they're, fo <clears throat> they're following what the state of new york saying what the cdc is saying which is the center of disease control that's what's really in charge is the center of disease control all right um governor cuomo has got on here and 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 made statements about what they're gonna do about closing um systems down or not closing systems down and in our case um he made it clear that he is not closing transportation okay if you didn't if you missed that you should check that out now on the nineteenth, um, for those uh, not everybody has uh, has access to the New York City Transit Daily Enterprise, but there is a link that's going to be on the Daily Enterprise. I'm not a a, a tech guru. Um, it is YouTube based, and it will be a live um, it'll be a live stream from YouTube. New York City Transit will it will you there will be you will be allowed to matter of fact let me get the information correct for you because you'll be allowed to I think interact and ask questions on this very topic that I'm talking about and um here it is all right so what it is is um okay I'm just gonna read to you I got I'm, I got a New York City Transit email. Um, and I get some of these emails from New York City Transit as well. Um, so here, here we have um, an email that was sent to me. Um, we will be holding an employee uh, an employee information session on the MTA's response to COVID nineteen on Thursday, March nineteenth. The safety of our employees is our first priority. And we have been working closely with health and medical professionals to ensure we are keeping everyone safe while we continue to provide um, the critical services this region depends on. All right. We also know you may have questions at this time. Um, this Thursday, March 19th, members of the MTA senior leadership team, including MTA chairman and CEO Patrick Foy, Chief Safety Officer Patrick Warren and Chief People Officer Paul Fama will discuss the MTA's response to COVID-19, what we are doing to protect your health and, and answer your questions. Additional members of the MTA COVID-19 response team, such as Corporate Op Occupational Health Officer, Dr. Daria Luisa, or um, 
Cole or Cool Marie Mario Palaquin will be available for pertinent questions as well. To take a question at the informational center, send it to AS Ask MTA at mtahq.org by 4 p.m. on Wednesday, March 18. Well, that's today, so that 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 look like it's passed, but I would try it anyway. We'll collect them for Q&A for the info session on Thursday at 10.30 a.m., which you can view live, live stream. So I'm going to click the link. The live stream actually opens up a, a Metropolitan Transportation YouTube page. Okay? So that's what it's going to be tomorrow. It's going to be live stream from YouTube. Um, I will answer all your questions offline. All right. Anything that I know and I don't know a hell of a lot, just so you know, but I do know that I am in this together with you guys. You're my brothers and my sis and sisters. I got a family at home. I got a mother in law at home who who will who I don't want to bring this home to. So I have a lot of stock in keeping everybody safe. All right. If I get the information, I will dispense the information and keep everyone educated. The only thing that I do ask is right now, we're all grown-ups. Let's not panic. Let's try not to panic because panic makes things worse. All right? Um, with that, I'm going to close. And I will, like I said, I'll answer you offline. All right? Take care, guys. Be safe out there. Um, let's not be foolish. Protect yourself any way that you can. All right? Be safe, everyone.